Good evening and welcome to this Wednesday evening Lenten worship service. We are gathered as the people of Fieldburg Lutheran Church. This Lenten season, we are using a series of monologues that take the stories of characters from the New Testament, and it's a story then told from the perspective of those characters in the story. Tonight, we will hear the story of Martha, the sister of Mary. Welcome to worship.
come before you, O God, as incense, and may your presence surround and fill us, so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. Hi, I am Martha. You probably know me as one of the sisters, Mary and Martha. Well, that's us. It seems like everybody in our little village of Bethany knows us as Mary and Martha. Well, that's me. I'm Martha. I want to tell you something about myself. Some people are thinkers. Some people are doers. I'm a doer. I like to get things done. You see, people have always complimented me because I'm a good worker. I guess that made me proud. It, it Maybe I like the appreciation, I, I don't know, but it's made me a doer and I like to get things done. So one of the things I enjoy, I like inviting people over. I like hosting people in my home. I hope, I hope you don't think I'm bragging, but in my village, in our little village of Bethany, people will tell you nobody can host an event like Martha. It's what I do. It's what I'm proud of and what I'm good at. You might say, it's my gift. It's my calling. I make people feel welcomed. So one day, we welcomed Jesus and some others into our home. We had met Jesus a few years before, and, and to us, Jesus was, was more than just a teacher, more than a prophet, more than a healer. Jesus was also our friend. He was amazing and powerful, and everybody was talking about him, but to us, he was also a friend. And when Jesus, our friend, needed rest or just to get away for a little while, he was always welcome in our home. And I always wanted to honor him as our special guest. I wanted the house to look good. I wanted the food to be amazing. Like I told you, it, it's what I do. So Jesus and several of his disciples were with us for a visit. And I was glad to have them come, but, but you know, when guests arrive, there's a lot that has to be done. Beds have to be set up for everyone. Food has to be prepared. And remember, in, in our world, in, in our day, we had to do everything by hand. Don't get me wrong. I, I love to host a big group, and, and I'm good at it. But when a big group arrives, in my mind, it's all hands on deck. Everybody, everybody needs to pitch in and do their part. And by everybody, I mean my sister Mary. In my mind, she should be helping me. That's, that's how I saw it. Well, Jesus was out in the other room with his disciples and some others, and, and Jesus was teaching. That's what he does. That's his calling. And, and that was great. And, and I'm not going to take him away from that. That's who he is and what he does. But here's the thing. In our day, in our culture, women weren't taught to read and write. And all the teachers were men. And all the students were men. I guess I was never one to stop and think about it too much. That's just the way things were. So when Jesus sat down to teach, I wasn't surprised that all the men sat down to listen. That's just the way our world was. That's the way things worked. But here's what got me steaming mad. My sister, Mary, she went out there 
and sat down on the floor and starts listening to Jesus teach. Oh, thanks for all the help, dear sister of mine. Well, the longer I worked, the angrier I got. The thing is, I, I never thought for a moment that anyone else should get up and help, like, for instance, one of the men. And I never thought for a moment that maybe I could ease up on some of my planning and preparing. I didn't think about any of those things. Instead, I just got more and more angry with Mary because she wasn't acting like me. I wanted her. I needed her to respect my priorities and do the things that I wanted her to do. I finally got so frustrated that I went marching out there to lay all my problems right at the foot of Jesus. I was going to shame my sister in front of all those other people that I expected. I expected that Jesus would be on my side and tell Mary to get back to work. Instead, Jesus said, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things. One thing is needful. Mary has chosen the good portion, which shall not be taken away from her. <laughs> what did he just say? I was stunned. I was silenced. I, I didn't know how to respond. I pulled back. His words made me stop and think. I paid attention to each word. Jesus didn't say that it was wrong for me to be a good host. That was just fine. Jesus didn't say that it was wrong that I should want to take care of my guests. What Jesus did say is that I was anxious and troubled. Wow. Was that ever true? I, I was anxious and troubled. I was furious with Mary because she didn't behave like me. She didn't choose to do the things that I would choose. You see, it's good to serve Jesus and to serve others and to show hospitality. And, and that's what I chose to do. And it's a good calling. And at the same time, it's also good to listen to Jesus and to learn from his teaching. And that's what Mary chose to do. And it's a good calling. And I shouldn't try to take that away from her. God's pretty amazing. God has made us as different people with different gifts and abilities and, and a different sense of calling. We don't all fit in the same mold. And then God sends Jesus into the world and Jesus comes and loves us and welcomes us, and Jesus saves us in all of our splendid variety. And even though it was a hard lesson for me to learn, it is a lesson that is the good news of God.
great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us bless our God. 